Hello everybody. Hey, it's Ken Faulkner. And I'm here with another knife video for you guys. And for me, because I love doing them. Uh, thank you so much to everybody that comes and views my channel. Um, yeah, I'm kind of a small group. We're not like one of these massive channels, but that's cool with me. I mean, we're kind of, it's kind of fun to have like uh, the same people in the comments. Um, just it's good to kind of get to know you guys uh so anybody wants to join in no problem if you want to just watch the videos no comments you don't even have to hit the like i mean i just like to uh to share with you guys i hope you enjoy the content and i got myself a box here that you may recognize as a microtech and microtech uh is well known for their amazing automatic ots mainly um, I, I actually don't know if they have any out the, out the sides, but they do have some really cool out the fronts, but I live in California and, um, you know, California has just been one of those states where laws don't necessarily need to make sense. They just need to have some kind of emotional value that gets somebody out there to, um, to vote for these politicians. I, I don't want to get too much into the political argument. I just want everybody just to kind of think for themselves. Don't let one group just blindly lead you along. Um, have an open mind. Have conversations with people, even people that don't agree with you. And think about things. Be you know, Think about how you really feel about your life and what you think is important and what you think uh, makes sense. I'm just, okay, so that's enough of that. Anyway, speaking of politics, uh, this guy was uh, Microtech's, uh, one of their um, versions that was made in China. This one was a Chinese made, I don't know if it even says it on here, and it is the SOCOM Bravo. I guess they had uh, other ones that were made uh, in U.S. prior to this, but yeah, there was some political thing about that that people were unhappy with the fact that they uh bought this one or had this one made out in china um you know i i'm not hardcore on the usa made i like usa made i like you can look at my faulkner five and they're all usa made and that was not with a thought to say i'm going to only use usa made knives for this faulkner five but uh this one here uh, I had an opportunity to buy it. Uh, I didn't pick it out as something that, uh, you know, I was buying from like a Blade HQ or whatever. I just had this opportunity. I've always liked these knives. I liked this one when I saw it, even though there was all that excitement about it being from China. Uh, it just, it's just a very cool look. Uh, it's got carbon fiber there. Uh, titanium handles. Um, just overbuilt, heavy duty and kind of like a kind of like a combat sort of knife. Um, it's got a strong detail on it. But anyway, there's your your Microtech symbol, like the uh, eagle claw. Very cool. Uh, it's got this cool fuller. Just it looks very. It's all blacked out. Uh, it looks very much like somebody uh, in the military or somebody. And yeah, first responder is going to be using a knife like this. Um, it it does, uh, like I say, it has a real tough detent. So it's, I've gotten to the point now when I first got it, going, man, this, wow. Uh, I got, I started out with this and, and I'm going, man, this is super hard to, to get to pop out. But once you get it going, it, it really goes. But uh, now I can thumb flick it, but it takes a little effort. Um, I don't know if it's just this particular one. Uh, but uh, now that I've gotten used to it, I, I, I like it. Um, lots of jimping on this thing. Uh, just the gripping. When you have this in your hand, if I can get it, you know, of course, when I'm on camera, I can't do it. But right here, that thumb wrap, it just grabs your finger. It looks like something that's on a, like a tank or something, like a tire tread from a tank. Uh, but it just it just grips and then you got this portion here another thumb grip here so you can push through 
Um, not so much a, a finger choil, but it does have a nice choil for it for sharpening. Um, it's just a, it's just a badass looking knife. I just all all I can say. Uh, hardcore heavy duty. I mean, it feels solid. It's just solid built. Uh, so you know, even though it's a Chinese made knife. Um, Obviously, there was some influence from this company because they do make very good quality stuff. Uh, part of the reason why I've had this one for a while, this is not a fall off the wagon uh, when I was supposed to not pay be buying stuff for Blade Show. I've had it for a while. I just haven't done a video yet. But kind of the reason why I'm doing the video is because Blade Show is coming up. And one of the companies that is making some stuff that is really attracting my attention is Microtech. Um, like I say, California has got this law that says if you have it out the front, it's got to be um, less than two inches long. So it's really not very exciting. Uh, I do have a couple that are down in that size range, but, and I've talked about this before, it's just not that fun. So this is all the kind of stuff that comes with it. There's some paperwork on it. Um, so anyway, I, I have seen their stuff that is uh, uh, manual before, but it's always been kind of hard to get a hold of. Um, the stitch is one of the ones that I really like. Um, and, you know, when I first saw it come out, I'm going, man, I'm going to get one of those. And then even at Blade Show, uh, I went uh, last year and I didn't, I wasn't able to get a hold of one because they... I think they had some early on, but they sold out really fast. They were quite popular. But now this this whole ram lock thing, now it's it's like an axis lock. It's not my favorite kind of lock, whereas this is a liner lock, or a frame lock, actually, sorry. And that's more my style. Generally, most of the stuff in my collection is going to be a, a, a frame or a liner lock. But um, anyway, the ram lock looks really good. I was able to try one out uh, when we did that knife meetup uh, with some guys in the area. Uh, somebody had the MSI and it seems to work really well. Um, and I'm not anti-access or crossbar lock or whatever. Uh, but, um, you know, sometimes it seems like it's a little bit hard to, you know, like you have to grab it with both fingers. But this, the ram lock seems to be a really good and well-made uh, as you kind of would expect from uh, Microtech, uh, a well-made uh, locking mechanism. And the thing that's excited me now, or kind of frustrating me now, is that they are way more readily available. I was just looking on Blade HQ, and you can get the Stitch, you can get the MSI, you can get all these knives. They're just right there on the site. You know, just say, put it in your cart. Of course, I'm not buying knives right now. So... When I go to Blade Show, that is on one of the top ones on my list is to pick up something with a ram lock from Microtech because they always have great uh, booths there, really big uh, showing, and I'm hoping that I can pick one up. If not, I'm just going to order one off of Blade HQ or something, <laughs> but I'm guessing that seeing as they seem to be more readily available now, that they're maybe putting out larger quantities at this point that I'm thinking I might be able to pick one up and bring one home from Blade Show, which would be excellent. Uh, knives that I buy at Blade Show always have like a special meaning to me. Um, so that's one of those companies. There's a couple of companies out there and I'm probably going to talk, do a couple more videos talking about some of them on the lead up to, to Blade Show. But there's a couple of companies out there that I'm really impressed with. Other companies I'm going, but where are you guys? Uh, you know, you've been like really putting stuff out and all of a sudden it just seems like maybe you're just coming out with new handle materials or you're coming out with this new version of this knife and there's just nothing that stands out that you're putting out right now but there are a company a couple of companies out there that are really coming through uh some companies that i've been wanting for a long time to get and i've just decided i'm going to go ahead so we'll talk about it later in other videos Anyway, this is the SOCOM Bravo. Uh, there's the SOCOM Elite. Um, I think that's a cool knife as well. Uh, I haven't really been able to handle one of those. Maybe one day I'll have one of those in the collection. 
Um, but um, I'm really kind of hoping that I can pick up a stitch with a ramlock at, at Blade Show. We'll see. Let's all keep our fingers crossed for Ken as he goes, and he'll hopefully he'll pick one up. Then there'll be a cool video about it when I get when I get back, or maybe while I'm there, who knows? All right, guys, that's it for this one. And uh, again, thank you all, thank you all for being supportive. Um, after Blade Show, I'm definitely doing a, a giveaway. I'm going to be shopping specifically for giveaway stuff at Blade Show, and my intent is that next year. Coming up after you know at Blade Show going forward, I'm gonna try to do more giveaways because I really enjoy it. Um, it's I, I really uh, like to to have an opportunity to give. I I wish I could if I had enough money, I just give everybody knives. That'd be awesome because I I love it um, and I love to see other people get knives that they might have wanted, maybe stuff that they just you know can't necessarily afford or or just haven't bought yet or whatever. Uh, so hopefully there's going to be opportunities. I'm going to look for like a little, little small little stuff to go in there. Maybe some, uh, better knives. We'll see. We'll see what I can, uh, I can manage after I end up spending money on myself. I might, I may be completely out of money before I get around to you guys. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll make sure I find some good stuff to bring back. Anyway, that's it for today. And I will talk to you guys on the next one.